In a remarkable display of dedication, Queen Camilla returned to work with a beaming smile just one day after King Charles was discharged from the hospital following his prostate surgery. The Queen, aged 76, hosted a reception at Windsor Castle to honour contributors to the new miniature library collection, showcased alongside the renowned Queen Mary's Dolls House, which is celebrating its centenary year. The Royal Collection Trust proudly presents the Dolls House as the largest and most famous Dolls House in the world. Originally completed in 1924 as a gift to King Charles's great-grandmother, Queen Mary, the replica of an Edwardian residence holds a special place in the royal family's history. Its library, a treasure crafted by 1,500 skilled artisans, features tiny volumes from esteemed authors of the era, including Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, A. A. Milne, and Thomas Hardy. To commemorate the Dollhouse's centenary, Queen Camilla has championed the modern-day miniature library initiative. The project commissioned 20 prominent writers and illustrators to create new miniature books that complement the existing collection and represent contemporary British literature. These hand-bound texts, standing at less than two inches high, encompass a diverse range of genres, from short stories and poetry to plays. Some of the works draw inspiration from the doll's house itself or were specially crafted for its anniversary. Notably, Queen Camilla's own son, Tom Parker Bowles, a renowned food writer, contributed a fitting piece titled, A Recipe Fit for a Queen. With an infectious smile, Queen Camilla graced the Windsor Castle reception on Tuesday, taking a brief tour of the doll's house and marvelling at the new additions to the modern-day miniature library. The collection includes works by Waterstones Children's Laureate Joseph Quayo, esteemed royal biographer Robert Hardman, and a copy of the beloved children's classic, The Gruffalo, written by Julia Donaldson and illustrated by Axel Scheffler which Prince William once revealed Prince George and Princess Charlotte adored. Following her visit to the Dolls' House, Queen Camilla proceeded to the Waterloo Chamber, where she met with the authors, illustrators, and binders involved in the project. The miniature books they created will be on display throughout the Dolls' House's centenary year, offering visitors the opportunity to marvel at this impressive replica by purchasing a ticket to Windsor Castle. During the reception, Royal Collection Director Tim Knox delivered a brief speech and presented Queen Camilla with a message reflecting on the library's significance. Thank you for watching and remember to subscribe for extra and notable contents like this. To never miss a story, subscribe now and stay updated with the best we need to offer you from fascinating human stories to trending news celebrities and more. Watch the next video we got on this channel for you. We love you.